All right, so I'm going to show you very quickly how you can add your return on investment calculator into your main snapshot page. So when a client comes to the page, they can actually get the return on the calculator here and they can actually work it all out for themselves. Uh, what you need to do is you need to open up uh, two tabs or edit the, the page. It's the page where you actually want to insert the calculator and also the page where you've got the calculator itself. So we're going to start off here. So I set up a section with two columns. I'm going to add an element here, uh, which would be my uh, custom HTML and just add that over here. And then once I've done that, I'm going to open up the code editor, which will bring up my custom JavaScript on HTML. Back on this side, open up. So this is the existing calculator on its own. Open up the code editor. And then what I can do is just copy. So on the PC, control A, control C to copy. Uh, and then I'm going to paste it in here. And I can say, yes, save. Now the problem is this won't look right because it uh, won't be formatted correctly. So what you need to now do is you need to put in the CSS coding to make the calculator look right. So what you need to do for this is go back to the calculator you got here, go up to settings, custom CSS, and then from the top there, from the first lines again, copy all the custom CSS. So control A. Uh, on a PC, control C, and then go back to the settings here uh, on where you want the calculator to be. Go to custom CSS again and do control V, save it all, and then just do yes, save. Then obviously, definitely remember to click on the save up here. And when you've done all that, uh, refresh the page and you should see the calculator as it is there. Next thing to note is because I'm in the UK, obviously I've got monthly, I've changed the dollars into pounds and I've char changed the amount we're charging down here. If you want to change that, then once you've saved everything on the page where you have in the calculator, go back to your custom HTML, open up the code editor here. And in the code, you're looking uh, down here for the results. And then you just change that from to the, the rights uh, if you go from dollars to whatever, you change it there. And then it says we charge, and you just literally change that. And that would change uh, the, the formatting of the, the wording. And then if you go down to where it says script, what's underneath is this monthly charge equals, and you just change that to your monthly charge. So that's uh, going to be 140, for example. I'll put 100 on in front, and that change that to 140. On that, that system up to charge again. Click yes, save, and that will then have the calculator calculating correctly for you.